Previously on Town Hall 8 Free to Play, Joe bullied some seriously rushed Town Hall 8s in Clan War. We found a tree harvester, but don't worry, no trees were harmed. And last but not least, Joe asked why do you like to play Clash of Clans with a big response. Today we're going to dive deep into the importance of Clan War and what it can do for mm -hmm. you. Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Joe, and welcome back for episode 6 of Town Hall 8 Free to Play. Man, we have been busy, and my goodness, you guys put up a lot of responses in the last video. That's impressive. Like, uh, some of you are here for the people, some of you are here for the challenge, and some of you just like to be fun. And it, it makes sense. It makes sense. Uh, this game is an older game, but it still has a lot of people that really enjoy it. I'm one of them, I guess. So, we got an icon up here. Let's go ahead and get in some icons. We did claim the gold. Old grab finally it's it, a couple days about a day after the elixir and as you can see the elixir still coming in we're at six million elixir and we are powerhousing this base or at least trying to I think we're just under a hundred walls done uh, and then we got an archer tower down for another hour and yeah so today's episode is gonna be talking about some clan war and the benefits that you guys can reap from it if you do it right so let's get into some questions of the day and I said two questions of the day because we got some important questions here a lot of good questions guys uh, but we're gonna take these two we got Joshua Jones here what made you decide to do the intro you do now best intro in YouTube with the recap that's exactly what it is the, I'm trading it like a TV show now and sometimes you're just gonna be busy you're gonna miss an episode and you're gonna want to know what happened we're in a free-to-play series guys so stuff happens and you want to know what happened and I'm gonna give you a little bit of a heads up on the you know the next video so that that's the answer to that question and hopefully that makes a little bit of sense we got one here by Eric and he asked why are all of your videos like 20 viewers to 400 when you're when you have 69,000 subs it just doesn't add up is it really is it really that low uh, I haven't paid any attention to it oh this one's over a thousand I don't know um, so the story behind that is uh, we did YouTube from 2016 to 2018 guys and so uh, I had to take a year off if for some of you that don't know I was in the military for 13 and a half years and I had to get out I got out of the army and then moving on with life and it was a major change like <laughs> I don't know some of you guys are probably in school maybe some of you work but when you have a major life change like that and you don't have a job and you're just like oh no what now YouTube was only paying out like 200 bucks guys so it's like I can't really do YouTube so I had to take a year off and get my life together, you know, move, sell my house. And during that time, we were about 40,000 subscribers. And then there's a there's videos in game. This video in game, as a matter of fact, is one of the ones that kept the channel alive. How to use the golem. That one has been there since 2018. I, I'm surprised that they haven't changed it out. I don't know why it's still there. I don't like it. I don't like that video at all. But uh, that video, along with others, kept the channel going, and it got up to about 60,000. We picked up the channel and started doing YouTube again back in February, and we are about to hit 70K. So that's, that's the answer to that. A, a year off, YouTube punishes you for it, and so it's not really recommending the content. But anyways, if you guys have any questions of your own, make sure you go down in the comments below and hashtag question of the day. All right, so today we're going to talk about Clan War a little bit and why is it important? What does it do for you as the player? So a lot of players out there love Clan War. I know a lot of like hardcore warmongers. I mean, we're talking League stuff, like you just eat and sleep and dream Clan War. And there's it's a little bit more than just that. For some of you out there, you just don't care to play like that and that's understandable the game has that's what's so great about this game is it's so diverse congratulations to paradox reloaded for getting a perfect war i did want to mention that before i forget uh but there's an icon over here to the right side actually there's a couple little bit of informational screens here that you might overlook within the hud and you got the clan xp on the right side that says 180 out of 230 and then on the left side you got a war win bonus so first we're going to start out with the clan itself so you as a player in a clan you're helping your clan grow, and as long as you stick around and do both war attacks and try to produce three stars and gain the XP for the clan, you gain 
perks. And some of you probably are like, oh my gosh, really? Like clan perks? We already know this. You got to remember, guys, this is a Town Hall 8 free to play series, and some players really just don't know. I promise you that. So you'll notice if you go back into the war log, you got the classic portion, and you go into standard clan war. And on the left side of the screen, next to the clan name, you will see a blue shield and a plus sign and a number, okay? So that is the amount of clan XP that was acquired from that war. 230 is the maximum amount from winning the war that you can gain for the level of clan that we got. I've seen higher than that in some clans. But anyways, so as we go back out of that, that clan XP goes to this little blue box that says clan perks. And in the clan perks, it goes up to level 10. Now, now this is important because it benefits you as the player, not just the clan, but it also benefits you. And so you uh, have different options. And as you increase in level, I'm going to tell you right now, a low level clan is brutal because you have to wait a long period of time to request uh, clan castle troops. And if people donate to you, only a select few, the high level clan players like uh, the Town Hall 12s are the ones that normally do the donating because there's no increase in troop level. And that's where the perks come into play. And as you level the clan, up or actually let me rephrase the more you war the more you win the more xp you gain the higher these perks are and you gain levels faster and this is why this is important for the clan okay so as you see, I mean, you get a donation limit increase, you get a treasury extra storage so you can store more loot, and then it just goes on and on up to level 10 where it tops out and where it's topped out for the last three years, and I cannot believe that they haven't gone beyond this yet. And then also you get some pretty cool visual effects with the clan gaining new shields as it goes up and gets up to a gold shield and, and, and then so on and so forth. So it tops out at level 10 for now. Who knows if they'll ever change that or add more levels. I haven't heard anything about it, so... I don't know. But anyways, what about you as the player? So going back into the clan war, you get that war win bonus, right? And so some players think that you need to farm attack. You know, uh, some players think that they can go in with a cheap army, wait until the end of the war, attack up on the base or up on the war map and gain loot. There's some things that are wrong with that. And and, and, and this is, doesn't apply to everybody. Some of you feel that that's the best way to go about it. By all means, do your thing. It's not a big thing. But in my clans, it's highly discouraged, highly discouraged because you're losing out on important experience by, you know, cooking or training a cheap wizard army or giant army army and then going in there and attacking a, 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 ba a base that's like 10 uh, tiers higher than yourself and trying to grab some loot off of it, you're really hurting yourself out of experience and you're not gaining the experience with the army that you need to be practicing with in order to gain three stars. And why is three stars important? Well, let's go back over to your actual player menu. And if you scroll down, there's an actual achievement that many people have not even accomplished yet. Uh, there's some that have are well beyond this, the high level player that have been playing a really long time but you have this achievement called war hero and it's it's um, right now i'm at uh, the first star of it and working on the second tier but you get free gems so if you get more stars three stars in clan war you gain more stars to fill this achievement up and get free gems and that is important free gems goes towards free builders free gems goes towards boost sessions when you, you the, get you get the uh, one gem boost session uh, offered to you and just gems is everything in the game for extra stuff so why not fill this up as quickly as possible and the best place to do that is while you are down in town hall 7 down in town hall 8 you can war and get easy easy stars now once you get up into town hall 12 it gets a little bit more challenging and then you have to deal with like one stars and two stars and dipping down and getting three stars or unless you're a really really good player and you're three starring town hall 12s it gets a little bit more challenging to fill up that achievement so we're going to get in here and take a look at some uh uh, Town Hall 8 attacks since this is a Town Hall 8 free to play series and these bases forewarning disclosure these bases aren't maxed out I know they're not maxed out we're gonna take a look at some true Town Hall 8s hitting other bases real quick and these are just armies that are standard guys these are standard armies for Town Hall 8 dragon armies are huge for many players at Town Hall 8 
major, major attack strategy for Town Hall 8. And so these are level 3 dragons. He's using the zap or the lightning technique to take out two or actually one of those very weak air defenses. I mean, you see this base is a Town Hall 9, but he's super duper rushed, man. Super incredibly rushed. And he's got two air defenses. One's like a level 1. One's like a level 2 or a level 3 there. And then the other one's like a level 4. And so, I mean, he's going to sweep and powerhouse this base. But this army is very effective even against high level town hall eight so let's not discredit the army plus the expos are on the ground so i mean why not right look at this this is just completely just air heaven here you could hit this with a lalo just comfortably actually so dragons are going to go around and this is important guys these are extremely important armies to learn because yeah they're expensive yeah i get it they're high in elixir and i don't want to spend the elixir but i promise you that you can raid more elixir out in global raids faster than trying to do some tacky uh boring uh farm attack in clan war so we're gonna speed this one up a little bit dragons are a slow army they take forever but and they're not exactly the most entertaining to watch but if you understand the funneling techniques and if you don't understand the funneling techniques i'll link some videos for you because i've covered these armies so many times before beautiful attack here by dodo we're gonna go ahead and get out of there and you already saw the army down in the bottom of the screen all right so in the previous attack you got to see the lightning quake or the zap quake technique used as a town hall eight and obviously it was a weak town hall nine base but it is an effective technique that is still very much around and still very much used this one here by Slate is actually just an all rage army or an all rage dragon attack. So you got uh, dragons and then you got the Barb King, you got the rage spells, poison spell, haste spell, and balloons in the clan castle. This is a strategy that I use quite often, even in the lower town hall eight range with the level two dragons. It's a good starter army if you are just getting into clan war as a town hall eight and you're still trying to figure out the game. This is a good, good army, but it's a very expensive elixir based army so you gotta raid a lot steal a lot of elixir and gain the amount of elixir required and then hopefully you have all your barracks maxed out if you don't this will be a brutal army to train uh so you know dragons as long as they have a good funneling technique going on and this is exactly what slate's got going on with uh beautiful funneling on the outsides meaning clearing the buildings on the outsides and getting the dragons to go inside the base and there's an e-drag we're gonna i'm gonna show you something about an e-drag here in a moment because i got wrecked by an e-drag earlier so dragons moving through rage spells carrying those dragons and then the balloons are a really good supplemental clan castle troop to clear out defensive buildings that way the dragons can continue to progress through the base and get into the air defenses he does a phenomenal job with this base even though it was a very weak rush base i know slate is a really good attacker and he does very well against other town hall eights he is truly a town hall eight not a town hall nine so uh, th that that was the army you saw it down in the lower left hand corner let's go ahead and get out of this attack beautiful work slate great work uh and i hope to be sh showcasing some other clan war attacks from my clan mates but dragons smoke the base this is just on cleanup from here all right so let's go ahead and get out of here and finish up this video with an attack for humor purposes guys so uh the electro dragon in the clan castle for town hall nines it's a good thing for Town Hall 9s. It's probably one of the most annoying clan castles out there. Uh, and or on defense, I mean. And so I got absolutely wrecked by an Electro Dragon. Did not expect it. There was no way to really pull this clan castle out of there unless I went into the south side of the base. And due to the level of my troops, the E-Drag just reigns supreme. And so uh, I think a couple of players got to see this one live. And I was not pleased afterwards because it was just like... Oh, like out of like I, I think I want to say it's like uh, out of one out of every attack at Town Hall like so let's say one out of every ten attacks that I uh, raid throughout the day there's actually clan castle troops in the clan castle in this situation here the e-drag just completely wrecked my soul just completely destroyed everything took out my Valkyries destroyed all of my giants and just survived because there was no wizards the wizards got stuck out on the outside you see the wizards trying to catch up right now thanks a lot guys way to go super duper <laughs> So there's your entertainment for the day. I fail too sometimes, guys. It happens. It does happen. I fail every once in a while as well. It's what can you do? It's nature of the beast. You can't plan for this out in global. You just never know. So you live and you learn, and the Electro Dragon is a pain in the neck, but it's okay. When I start pushing and I start finding those bad boys, I know exactly how to deal with that thing once I have my Govaho army. But 
yeah, that's going to pretty much wrap us up for today, guys. Uh, I do not have a question for you today, but I will tomorrow. I'm going to think on it, and I'm going to come up with something for you guys. But if you enjoyed the content and you enjoyed it, good. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't done so already, and we'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care.